Why does the black man serve the white man? Why does everything the black man do benefit the white man? Why does the black man say freedom is doing what I want to do? And why is it that everything he wants to do enriches the European? Welcome to the desert of the real. Yo, word is going for me. Like, I'm listening to this show, and this was like, a, I want to say like maybe a month and a half ago, and because I'm listening to my archives, I can't call in and defend it. But my thing is this. All of us who know how to do stuff, you know, you brothers have your own set of skills. I have my set of skills. I know damn well it doesn't matter if I'm mad. It doesn't matter if I'm going through family problems. It doesn't matter if I'm sick. If you give me the right tools, Yo, I can make sure nobody's breaking into your into your, your your complex. Also, if you give me the right tools, I can make sure that if there's a fire, it will be detected in your complex. So when people say things like, um, "Are you going to take your nigger mind with you?" and stuff like that, it, to me that shows a certain level of ignorance. Because when we say infrastructure, Jonathan said this. Uh, he said this on my show, I think Sunday. The, the, the thing that people don't want to deal with is they don't want to deal with infrastructure. Infrastructure does not care about your emotions. It doesn't care about your quirks. It doesn't care about nothing. But can you build? Do you have the precise measurements? Do you have the right material? Do you have the right supply channel? And do you have the skill to make it work? And for me, when people say stuff like, are you going to take your nigga mind over there, these are people who never really done, did anything or mastered anything because you know that mastery of any kind of skill transcends the quote-unquote nigger mind or any mind for that matter, period. So when we say that we're the black African infrastructure organization, I think the most important part of that is infrastructure because we're saying that we unite on one thing, one common cause, and that's infrastructure. Nobody can trump that. You can't trump that with religion. You can't trump that with politics, ideology. You can't trump it with nothing. All we are concerned is do you know how to do what you say you know how to do, and are you nice at it? Because if you know how to do what you say you know how to do, and you nice at it, it does not matter what mental state you in. All we asking for you to do is come over here and do that. Period. Yo, that's period. That that period. is so fucking real right there. Can I take that's the baton so just for a second? Sorry, I want to take the bro. baton from that just for one second. I want to ask these Negroes who talk about the nigger mind. When we build a bridge, does the bridge collapse because of an atheist went across it? <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> does the bridge does the bridge Drop collapse because again, a child molester went across it? Nope. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like the the infrastructure doesn't care about any of that shit at all. None the infrastructure is neutral. The infrastructure is secular. It's like all the infrastructure is concerned about is maintaining itself. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's it. And this is what Negro seems like. like. These guys, what it is is that I notice that um, a lot of arguments is about bringing do nothing Negroes over to the nation state. That's what it's about. Sure. Like if you listen to their arguments, they talk about well, what about this and what about that. My thing is, can you contribute? What is your nation building skill? There it is. Right. 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 What is your what is it? You what what is you your profession? What are you involved in? Because a lot of these Negroes, and say, I'm going to do a show on this, and a lot of people is not going to be happy, and I might lose a few subscribers, but I'll feel good because I'll get able, it'll be therapeutic for me. I'm going to get on all of these conscious community clowns who have not developed any skills that they can take care of their families and take care of themselves. What they've developed mm-hmm. is the skill of talking, the skill of getting on a fucking soapbox and running their goddamn mouth. And they mad, and the reason why they mad and they angry, the reason why they mad and they angry is because they have no skills, and they can't get the money that they need, they they can't command the salary that skills require. You know what I'm saying? If you have the skills, you can command a certain salary. If you have no skills, then what you're going to do is be working in these low-income jobs, and then you're going to be mad at everybody. You're going to be mad at the people you're working with. You're going to be mad at people that's making more than you, and your whole vibe and your whole life is going to be off of anger. 
And why? Because mm-hmm. you failed. Individually, exactly. as a person, on, it, you failed. Yes. Drop so it, stop, yep. trying to, stop trying to make it seem like somebody is, oh, you, you're a part of this cause and you're really concerned about black people. Because the moment you get some money, you ain't going to give a damn about black people. About black folks. Mm-hmm. The moment right you get your individual video. personal situation in order, the struggle ends for you. Right. Mm-hmm. But this it's is why I know I'm rolling. This is why I know I'm rolling with brothers. This for real because all the brothers that's in my cipher and in the BAIO, they have uh, the ability to take care of their families. They have skills. Right. They are at the top mm-hmm. echelon, the upper, the middle, upper to um, the middle to upper class range and echelon in our community in terms of income. Real talk. And yet, those are the exactly. people that's fighting for your ass. Exactly, motherfuckers. So I, yeah, I'm gonna do a whole show on that. I'm gonna address that situation because a lot of these conscious community cats is just jealous. They're angry, and it's all because they per- they personally, individually failed in life. Mm-hmm. And that's about as real as it gets. Yep, that's about as real as it gets. 